two, one, and we are. We are here. Look Hello, at us. Guys. We are. Only just, but we're here. How are you? Oh, here you, he is. You, uh, <laughs> Stephen, you look so small, small head at the end of the... Yeah. <laughs> oh, hold on. Hold on. Let me fix Make it. Make your head bigger. Let me fix it. Don't I would like shy. to. I have to figure out how to Don't do it. Hold to show on. Face. I can't. I'm, yeah. I'm shy today, I guess. He's just sitting so... Oh, the laptop offered the uh, things too far away from you, Steve. I think. All right, hold on a minute. That's his, this is the best I can show my face, guys. Okay. This is it. We'll this is the best to, I can do. I'm sorry. Yeah. We'll, well, then, we'll look. That would make us even further away. <laughs> I mean, this brings us closer. Yeah. Well, so. it just it looks. Uh, well, we're in a new studio, a, and that's well, maybe why. Steve, so maybe Steve, you should that, put yourself yeah. in the middle. Can you put yourself in the middle then? Or can I put you in the middle? No, be, Damon, be I cannot funny. put myself in the middle. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think this is? Find Real a television position. <laughs> yeah, the only the only so thing I can do is this. I can all I can do is do a I can do a solo of me. Oh, so, oh, that's oh he's back. Is that better? Have we got it? I'm in the middle. Yeah, we never got that. <laughs> you can smile. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's call everybody like this small. Just so we're clear. See, if see, I come you closer, need to move. I, I don't want to I don't want to scare. I could do this. I'd be like, hold on, everybody. <laughs> no, oh, okay. I don't want to I don't want to scare the audience. You came from that small, you it's, came to that big. Yeah. Yeah. I know oh, in the middle. So, it's too it's too late for that, Stephen. But I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll scare the audience. Yes, I know. I've already scared the audience. I'll tell you what I'll do. Yeah. I'll go. I'll, I'll. 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 There we go. Is that better? Is that a little bit more. Popular? Well, we'll see. In the new studio, I've got it's twice the size of the old studio. So yeah, we can see this that. Is the we first, can see that. Could you? I know, right? Size. So this is this is the first show that we're doing in the new studio. So by next week, I'll have this down to perfection. So all the shows this week, I have a funny feeling it's going to be okay, like a bad Mel Brooks movie. Yeah. yeah, people are going to be like, "Are you there?" And then, yeah, so. <laughs> well, providing you can get yourself in the middle of the shot, it doesn't look so strange then, because it looks like. All right. Well, you guys talk for a second, and I'll be. It was just cuddle him. Oh, he's gone now. He's he's uh, he's, he's disappeared. He, he disappeared. <laughs> it was <laughs> he was uh, an imagination in our heads. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he's on the phone. Now he's uh, he's busy, busy man so, today. So, yeah, Adam, yeah. how are you? How are you? I'm okay. You? Yeah, yeah. Well, yes, yeah. Better, better. I Look, flu last week. the imagination has come back again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I have it's to like... apologize. We we've got like 50 things going on outside of the studio. So this show is going to be one of these shows where I'm going to be popping in and out, and I'm going to feel <laughs> yeah, bad. Like, like, yeah. It'll you know, be very like... exciting for people yeah. that are on mushrooms and all hallucinogenics. <laughs> They're going to think this yeah. is the greatest show in the world. They're going to be like, dude, <laughs> did you see what happened just, on that show? Well, it, it, it's actually, it actually looks like ping pong, did not it? Because if I do that, I can yeah. knock, yeah. Knock, your, knock your head towards Adam. Sure. Uh -huh. All right, thanks. Oh, who uh, needs drugs? I know. This is our own drug right here. This is fun. We so anyway, Adam, it's good to see you. What's new and exciting with you, other than we moved to a new studio? So... <laughs> Well, okay, I, I work a lot. Well, right. of course, a uh, couple of three days I took the days off. I'm having small right. vacations. I'm just working with the dog. And sometimes I watch a movie, just read some stuff. This is my vacation, you know. It, it means oh, I don't I work, I mean, artworks. Right. But uh, from tomorrow, I continue. So there's. Very nice. I, I don't stop. Yeah. And do you find that difficult? I'm not going to, to show working? anything today. Sorry? I was going to show a whole bunch difficult. of stuff below the waist, but then I didn't want to be laughed at. So. Yeah. 
I was going to ask a serious question. I won't even bother. Say again, David, because you know. <laughs> <laughs> because Stephen was I, uh, saying, and I cannot he's, hear. He's 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 high he's high on fresh paint. I think that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I just wondered if you if you found it difficult not to work. And no, sometimes I needed it. It still work, yeah. you know, because it's still in my mind. Because it, when I when I don't work, I mean, uh, working on a specific piece. I, I think a lot about the artworks and in general about, uh, you know, I need to think existential things about philosophy, about existence and everything, about feelings. I, I was I was thinking about a topic today because we said we will have a topic. Yes, what's our topic? Oh, you, well, you said yeah. you were going to have a topic because you wanted to yeah. keep us all in. You wanted to keep us all in one lane today, not... Yeah, I, would, I, I, I would like I would like that we have a topic every time. It doesn't matter if we go yes. away from the topic, which is probably sure. <laughs> but we could definitely go away from it. <laughs> yes, yeah. let's start with the topic each time. Yeah. Oh, you're, What's you're our topic today? Be, so well, I was thinking uh, about yes. You uh, disappearing heads, I think, should be today's topic. <laughs> we will get the studio set up, kids, and we'll make it better. But I, I'm I'm still yeah. learning how to use all the new equipment. I got to push a whole bunch of new buttons, <laughs> so it's a whole a whole thing. I'm getting phone calls Steven from everybody is saying this isn't right. Yeah, it's yeah, adjusting. Like, it's just, just adjusting. Yeah, I'm adjusting to this. This is like pretty crazy, <laughs> man. Let me tell you. So you I'm loving every it. moment of it. There you go. Yeah, well, there that's what good. moving right. does for you. Should we, maybe you should talk about the art of moving. <laughs> yeah, I got. Let's hear Adam's thing. Adam, what do you want to talk about today? What is your other than existentialism? What do you want to talk about today? Everything that I'll talk is existential. You know, in my theory, every artist, right. when you uh, uh, ask somebody what is he doing and what is art, is actually an extension act. Right. You do to realize that you're alive in a way. You create yeah. so that to copy the pattern of creation. I think. I think so. This is my theory about that. Mm. But but I wanted a, a different topic. I wanted to, yes. that we start the topics with, with the topic love. Oh, okay, it's a good topic. The topic okay. today is love. Is love. Yeah. Now, when you talk about love, are we talking about a shady half hour, or are we talking about love? No, I, would, I, I don't know. know. Talking, uh, uh, we will maybe start we're talking you... about maybe talk about the Greek love because you have a Greece. No, we, you you totally you give it you love. you. No, no, no. You will say your definition of love, each one of you. Oh, okay. and later, me too. Yeah. Okay. I haven't think about it. Go first? So... No, no, no. I'll go, you I'll go, go first. first. You go first. I'll go first. Here's love. Love yeah. to me, because yes. there's many forms of love, other than Asian hookers, which I love. Um, but no, love <laughs> to me. I'm big kidding. Love. <laughs> big love. That's big love. No, no. But I love, see, there's, like I love family. That's one kind of love. I love my dog. Another kind of love. And I love scotch and cigars. So yeah, well, that's alcoholism and bestiality and a family. So how can it all be the same? And next week on the, my movie, Circus of Filth, you can see all of it put together. <laughs> um, but no, I, that's how I don't break down love. When someone says, I love you, unfortunately, the way my brain works, I have to put them in a category. It's like, so if you love me, where do you fall in my category of my definition of love? So I know a lot of people go, oh, I love, I, I do, when I say I love something, it's in a category of for me. It's not like X. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense. So I don't, my love is very different. It's not conditional. It's just different form of love. Good luck. Different from what? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> when someone says they, like if I say to you and David, I love you guys like brothers. All right, that's, a, that's one form of love, right? And if yeah. I say to a girl, I love her. That's a different form of love. When I say I love it, scotch and cigars, that's another form of love. But what, it's just why, every, what, every form has a, a, a bucket. Yeah, but why all those acts have the same name? So what's the common in them? Yeah. What could be the, the definition of love in general? Yeah, there because there's definitely like. there are different forms of love because yeah. there's the difference but, between well, somebody well, loves a football game or football uh, 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 group right. team, and somebody and one mother loves her ch child. It's love. Yeah, one is love. My, mom, my, love, mom love kind of love. my mom did not love me as a child. She never breastfed me. She just told me she liked me as a friend. 
So let's not get carried away with that. The parent love. Uh, but yeah, it's I, not. I just put yeah, everything down rule. to a category. It's, it's it, it yeah. is a rule. If you have to. Yeah, it's kind of a it's kind of a something. I I don't know. I have a different way of looking. My brain does not think like normal people because I'm not normal. Apparently, I was dropped many times as a child, um, but I'm still here. So I look at love differently. So if I love something, there's I like things and I love some and I love things. The like is like yeah, I like it. It's cool. If I say I love something, that's a whole nother level, but it's not like I'm the love, like when people go, oh my God, I'm so in love. I'm not so in love with anything. I just love it. And it's, a, I, my mind doesn't work that way. And it's very, for people that know me, it's very hard for them because they'll be like, I love you, man. I'm like, okay. And they don't realize, I, mean, I love you like a brother if I say that to somebody, but it's a different type of love. And I don't know how that works, but for me, it's just different and I'm okay with that. So David probably has a better thing because he's, you know, British, you know, they are, they're all soft and scotchy. <laughs> do show boy and stuff. So. so David, what's your version of love? We know mine's already screwed up. So. <laughs> yeah, well, I, you know, like, as you actually quite rightly defined it, alcoholism, bestiality and friendship, it would seem. But um, out, outside of those three aspects. And where do uh, you guys fall I, in that? <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was under the impression, actually, that in Greek you had different definitions of love, and that we only have the one. Um, yeah, we have so, two. It's the eros and agape. Yeah. Yeah. Eros okay. is the romantic love. It's yeah. the love that you know that you and, that, that, and that's that what sex we, is involved. <laughs> yeah, that's what we that's what we struggle with, of course, because unlike the Inuit who have like I don't know two hundred words for snow or whatever, we all struggle about yeah. I, um yeah i like this i like that i don't like this i don't like that where 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 you know i love this or i don't love that you know what does that actually mean i mean for right. me if i have if i'm in a loving relationship with someone i can define that by them giving me all the freedom that i need that okay that that for me is you know, the, the total the total acceptance of me is right, right. maybe how love is manifested towards me. Interesting. I like that. That's very cool. I and I guess maybe I look at it kind of like that, but a little differently. You know what I mean? It's like, but I like that idea that it's the total acceptance. That's why when people like when somebody says I love you, man, like you know, the guys say that yeah. to each other. Because I it's think like, it's, it's, because, a, it's a throwaway, um, isn't it? You know. Well, it isn't, it isn't. I think when I say it. I really, I think it's because they understand me with all my idiosyncrasies and I have my freedom to be myself. I think it's, you don't love somebody or even like them if they don't let you be you. You know what I mean? Like in personal relationships, whether you're romantically involved or it's with a spouse or with friends that are non-romantic, right? Just whatever, male or female friends, the ones that let you be you, best relationships. And then people will say, what do you need from me? I go, you be you. That's it. So for me, that I think to what you said, that's what, if you will, love is. You be you, I be me. And, That'll and be good. next next time topic, identity. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, that, right. But I'm just saying, about, that. About so the what's you, love to you? You're saying. About the you. Well, that was the sheep, I think. No, no. Anyway. Um, so what? what's love to you, Adam? Well, first of all, because we need to define it also, you know, what is in, in us objectively, because we need to define right. it somehow objectively. Uh, first of all, it's a feeling, right? Right. You feel love. The result of it might be like uh, that you feel freedom, you know. It's, it's acceptance, like David said. There has to be acceptance in, in the feeling of love. Yeah. Uh, it has to be something that makes your ego smaller because yeah. Ooh, you start to care a lot about yeah it's it's that means also that it's uh, that that uh, because the ego is the tool for survival for us actually i think that right, it right. has been developed like this we are egoistic in order to survive that's this is how we follow the egos but if the e ego is too much elevated and you know pumped up then there's a problem. There's the balance is lost. But anyway, right. uh, another thing is that um, you know sometimes it's a need. I think that it's a need. We mm. as creatures have needs. One of the need is to feel love and right. loved. 
you know, it's those are both. Is it is it needed to feel love or just needed to feel needed? Yeah. Oh, look well, at that. I asked look, a real question. Nobody knows what to yeah, do with it's, it. It's a good <laughs> question, but but it's the same. It's the same I, thing that I said that you need to yeah. love and you need to be loved. So but I don't think right. I don't needed. think it's who I don't think it's who you love which is important. It's who loves you is important. Uh -huh. Both are important. Both are important. Both. It's because, uh, because you know. It's also who if, you love. And if if by you, whom you if you uh, if you're in a uh, a relationship with someone where there aren't any constraints, and that's the for me that's the ultimate gift that you can give someone. You know, to just to let right. them do their thing because, like life, you know, relationships is is like learning how to dance. You know, it's a it's a beautiful, wonderful thing to see professional dancers literally float across the floor. But what we don't see is the pain and the agony and the toes being stamped on and the arguments and everything, which, you know, and I don't mean to like violent or, or you know, uh, angry, angry, but just trying to find that gel between you to pick up and and and. and 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 dance together through life. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. um. Well said. I'm well, I, I'm, I'm, luck, I'm lucky I had that with a net with, with a net. You know, it's really mm -hmm. weird. We we have totally totally different backgrounds, totally different tastes mm -hmm. in almost everything. But it's yeah, almost it as if, it's almost as if because we are so far apart in a circle that we're actually very near to each other. Where they. Like her starting point is here, my starting point in here is here. And if you go that way around, we're a long way apart. But when you look at it that way around, we're incredibly close to each other. And that is the really acceptance nice. then of that difference, right. um, which is which for me has made made the relationship. But hey, what do I know? Oh, oh you know something. Yeah, but that's for sure. you know something. You just yeah, that's nice. But see, I think that goes back to the need to feel needed. And I think that's what happens, right? And every polar op pol opposites attract. I think anybody I've ever been with, they're nothing like me. And I'm definitely nothing like them. So I think that's what makes life interesting. I think if you hook up with someone that's exactly like you, I think you just butt heads a lot. Yeah. And I think part of that's because or, or, you don't or have, it's, there's no room to grow. Yeah. Or it's or it's or there's no excitement in it because there's no, there's no anticipation right. because you kind of know what's, what's going to happen. Right. You know, it's like it's that also that isn't it? the uh, I think relationships should be full of risk as well, and I mean that in the nicest possible way. You know, right. it's, it's, it's almost a, that, that, that keeps that spark moving. Yeah. No, I and, agree. Uh, I agree. I I I think it's like I said for everybody, it's a little different. My the way my brain works is I break it down into different categories of love. Yeah, you know. I think Adam has a has one over on us both, Stephen, because, like I said in Greek, in Greek you have two words for it, so you can you can take out the sex part of it, and which right, is right. you know which is Adios. you know, yeah, which is you know, right. going back to that that wonderful pop song, do it like they do it on the Discovery Channel. So once that's put away onto one side, then you can just get around to the other the other part of it, which is incredibly complicated. But sex has nothing, in my opinion, to do with love. Sex is sex. No, I, I, I agree. Love but, is, as but love is love. The, the, in our language, it does, doesn't it? It's, it's this continuous yeah. mishmash. Yeah. You know, P people think that you have to. If you have sex, you're in love. And I, I dated a girl many, many years ago, and we, and like twenty years ago, and I remember she told me she goes, "Sex has nothing to do with love." Yeah, and it no, really, I agree it was with a, that. really, and I had to really think through that. I yeah, that's but true. It doesn't. It could. It could, but it doesn't. Yeah, but it, but this is what we're looking for. We're looking for a right. relationship which is also sexual. I mean, that's the true. things that uh, we exchange and, and we like usually with fluids somebody. and stuff. Yeah. But we want yeah. also at the same time because we know we, that we have we have limited time all the all the time. We know it, so we don't right, want right. to waste time. Also, so the best is that we can, if we can find those needs because those are needs also the sexual right. the psychic need for love to be loved also and to love right and if you find it in one person and you can do all of them in with one person that's perfect because it's uh, okay. 
you know, you get more attached to this. Love is also attachment. You want to right. be with uh, the subject of love. Either right. it is a person, either it is a, I don't know, a dog or, or even a thing, your car or something. Scotch you and cigar. Your car, your yeah, cigars. Yeah. yeah. I, but you know why I love scotch and cigars? So here's, we, we had a, we have a show called No Snobs or Knobs and we actually, we did, uh, uh, we saw every Saturday, but the reason I think I, we talked about this, the reason that we love scotch and cigars is because it brings us back to another era. It's a very old school thing where men sit at a gentleman's club and not the one with strippers, but the one with like big leather chairs where you read a paper, smoke a cigar, where you have a cigar after dinner and you just speak. It's not about anything other than just camaraderie. I do. Is that and to the I, exclusion say, of women, then, Stephen? No, no. I think that I think I, I've been to many cigar places where women are smoking cigars. When I call, so, you know, in the 30s and 40s, when you said you're going to go to the gentleman's club, you know, you went with your big chairs and whatever. Yeah. I I smoke cigars with women. And I have no problem with that. But I'm just saying it it brings me back to that. And if women are there, I'm okay with that. I just like the fact that, and I think this is why I love cigars. It brings me to another era. It brings me to a, in my mind, a better time. And the cigar is a great equalizer. Where I don't care if you're smoking a two dollar stick or a two hundred and fifty dollar stick. It's just the great equalizer, and we're sharing a moment. And that's why I like or love, if you will, cigars and cigar lounges and being with cigar people if they're like that, like-minded, because it is that which is the love of it for me. I'm like, okay, I get it. It's just very – Well, you have, to, do you, have the same, do you have the same thing with marijuana smokers as well. And that's fine, but that's not my – there's nothing no, no. for me. Like, no. It's the same thing in a marriage. I, I like – I love my wife because of the following reasons i love my dog yeah. for the following reasons. so everything like i said but everybody like you guys say like when adam talks about love and you talk about love it's kind of very defined my love is a through z it, it but it, and not conditional a through z it's just it, everything is put into a box on a shelf and i'm like that's where the love is it doesn't deviate it's just there um, and I think that's different. I think a lot of people, you say love and it's like, oh my God, I love this girl. I had sex with her. Or, I love this guy. I had sex with her. But, but different. You know what I mean? It's like, it's an emotional, and mine's very almost analytical. I don't know if that's good, but that's how my brain works. I mean, I feel good, but very analytical when I break things down, like who I love, who I like, how I do. I just don't go, I love you. For me to tell someone I love them, that's a big thing. So If I'd have to visualize love, Right. I, I visualize it as Velcro. <laughs> I like that. Attachment. Yeah. Like I said, yeah. like attached. Yeah. You can't, you can't be without. Yeah. And they, the, they, the they glue together. They, they, yeah. they, 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 in a way, when uh, a pair comes together and they have a family yeah. and it, it works, they love each other, etc. Because love is one word, but it actually... It's a very big topic. That's what I'm saying. Yes. I, I said it would be a topic. It's not even one episode enough for love. But anyway, uh, uh, the people have the need to, to, to love. It's one of their needs. It's basic need. Yeah. It, we, and words sometimes are very poor, you know, to, to express things. And the, we talk about topics and we don't have the same thing in the mind, you know, sometimes. And one of them is love, I think. Right. We know that it is a strong feeling. Adam, do you think that's why you paint? Because you can't you can't say what you want to say in words? Yeah. Maybe if I if I if I thought that the words as a mechanism to produce, to create something would be good for me. I would be using words, but I, I, I don't, I don't have it with words. <laughs> it's obvious. I can it, talk it, like this, you know, about, yeah. but I'm not a good talker in general. I think at least I have in my mind something like this, yeah. right, right. but or, or at least I don't find it interesting. Maybe th this is the most important because I find it more, more interesting to play with shapes, colors, you know, different kind of expression. And for example, I have love. I have love to this also um, process of creating, you know, like creating art. 
and in general live into this artistic world it's it's a it's a big comfort to me but do you want me to love your work is that what you're looking for no 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 i i'm not doing i'm not doing the artworks for somebody to to love it it this is this may happen or it may not happen you cannot create artworks for somebody else to love it you, you, you cannot right. You can do something which you know that people will like, etc. But love, the way that love is a very strong, it, it has very strong meaning. It's a very strong power. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can love for a moment. You can love for a lifetime also. It's not the same. It's like what Stephen mm -hmm. said. There are different categories. There are different uh, qualities of this power. But when we talk about love, we're usually speaking about the intense feeling of the need to uh, uh, be attached, to have a good relationship with something. So, it can be a person, so I, can be a thing. Can be, so yeah. how would this affect you then? I'm standing back, I'm looking at your work in a gallery, and I really love it. It really it, it touches me in such a way, it moves me, it gives me so much joy, et cetera, et cetera. Now, what does that do to you as an artist? Are you are you aware that that's possible? That could possibly happen. Yes, of course, because one of the reasons the reason that we're doing art is communication. It's a bridge. Yeah. It's a bridge between the the subjectivity, the artist, and the obje he objectifies what's in his head or the need because sometimes the artists are doing without knowing what they're doing. I do it also. Everybody is doing. But there's this need. We are working. So, on, we're, we're, so when I meet you, then I say, "Oh, I really love your work, and um, I really love you, Adam. I like what you're doing." That that that's a very complicated statement to make, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's a complicated sta statement because, but it's a, it's an opening statement. You can start a dialogue there. What do you love yeah. there? W with what you resonate, with what you're ident identifying yourself. Because this is what happens. You, you like or you love something, you identify yourself a little with it. As being, as being a, you know. This is also an extension of understanding. Love has to have understanding. What you said about the freedom. No one can offer you freedom if they don't understand you or at least try to understand you. Because they also see that you need freedom. So if they know that you need freedom, they know you. They understand you, so they give you freedom. This is an act of love. Uh, respect also. Respect is also, you know, inside the big meaning of love. It has to, there has to be respect. Well, it has to be mutual respect. And I think a lot of people yeah, yeah, in relationships always. don't have that. I think, and, and the problem also with that in today's society, because of all the woke children, is sort of like, you don't love me because, and it's like, no, that's BS. The person may love you, it's just that, you know, they just do things differently. And the other problem I find in, with to people today is that people don't take the time to learn their partner. You know what I mean? Whether it's business or whether it's you're in a relationship, um, you know, where you're living with someone or whatever, they don't take, they don't take the time to learn their partner and all their idiosyncrasies and that, has a lot to do with what's going on. So if there's an issue... Or are they busy with themselves? Well, that's the problem, right? They're busy, actually, not even themselves. They're busy doing nothing. By nothing, I mean this. They're busy on this. They're, 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 they're busy they're avoiding, avoiding uh, right. knowing. Uh, maybe they are right. afraid also about... Yeah, but the problem the, is that we what, haven't raised men and women for the last, say, 40 years to be men and women. We've raised them to be little pussies, so when something happens, they don't know how to deal with it. So <laughs> well, when someone says they your, love you, were your parents they don't not know saying it. the same? You know, every generation hears this. Actually, no. My parents came, and their parents came, all old school. You know, and remember back when we were all kids. Now Adam's a little different because he's younger, but you know, back in my day when we were in the caves with learning about fire and chiseling on a wall, you know, and we didn't have. Um, iPhones and iPads and all this technology, you know, there's only three television stations in America, ABC, CBS, um, NBC, and PBS, and then maybe Superstation out of Chicago, if you were lucky. 
and the television went off at like one in the morning and came back on at six in the morning. That was it. You didn't have 12,000 channels. Um, we were taught to read a newspaper in the morning. You know, we were taught to go out and play. We actually were taught in school. So you were also taught to learn how to handle things and express emotions. And nowadays it's just sort of like they're on a pill for this or that, or they have to go see a psychologist. I'm like, seriously? Like some of the stuff I hear that people mm-hmm. are going to go see a doctor for, I'm like, well, you're, you're pathetic. Yeah, but like, I don't think we can get we can rid of half the population, it. we're good. We can't also underestimate. I mean, I, I agree to to you know to a lot of what you said, and it very much reflects well, my my childhood. But we're also talking about a generation of children who we who we locked up for two years, two and a half years. Stop using that and, as an excuse. That's an excuse. Stop with that. No, that I, I hate that when people say, "Well, I don't care." That's on the parent, and that's because the parents don't know how to be parents. And all they did was lock up their kids. Well, the, That's yeah, BS. But the thing is, thing about the, the thing about it is, right, is that they didn't have any any social intercourse with with their peers, did they? They didn't. They weren't going to school. They were locked out of all other activities because of the pandemic. They don't go. It's, listen, dude, when they do that now, they don't do any activities. They all go to school. They're all on their iPads, and they all come home and they're on their iPads. They lock themselves in a room. Now, yes, there's a handful that play sports and do other things, but really, at the end of the day. I know everybody keeps going. They were locked. Oh, poor baby. Really? They were locked up. You know, they weren't locked up. They could still go out and play. They can still do this. There were countries that didn't ban anything. Someone in the Middle East, somewhere in Europe, they're like, go, oh, go play. Because they were like, you're fine. You know what I'm saying? So this thing where the kids were locked up, I totally get it. But I have a real problem with that because that's a crutch. So what you're, what you're going to say anyway, to everybody? They, they were they were in front of the telephones before the pandemics. Also, that's it's true. Doesn't yeah. Yeah. But look, this is totally different uh, conversation because right. you know uh, they, they, they are different. <laughs> different. Look, they, they were raised differently in a right. different environment. They. The things they have and the the, 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 the the brainwashing that they have, it's enormous, I mean, with all those, everything that's going on. They're totally uh, messed up in the head. And it's not totally their fault, you know. I mean, the society, we, the older society created, yeah. it's, 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 it's not a fault or not, it's a product of the society. Those yeah. children are a product of the society we're living, we have built. Now, right. it, if we don't like the society, which we shouldn't like it, because look where we have come. I mean, the world right. is almost on fire, the right? Is, the world is flat. Everybody knows. Yeah. yeah, it's flat and it's on fire now. Yeah. But things are happening almost every day, which uh, have influence in every, everybody's life now. And okay. but but before uh, and we're coming back to our topic because David said something and I, I think it's it was nice. He said like, what about the love towards ourselves? Right. Because uh, you no, know, look, all those things that we said, like acceptance, for example, is one right. of the parameters of love, on big meaning of love. Uh, do we accept ourselves? Let's start with this, because this also because each one of us is a member of the society. If each one of us is not feeling okay with themselves, then the society is also not feeling okay with itself. I mean, well, it does tie, we are it living... does tie into social media because social media is giving a lot of very a lot of young people an incredibly perverted image of what they should be, either physically or or, or mentally. You know, it's, I uh, think it gives any kind of shape and you know proposes any kind of shape or, or color. It's full of colors, full of shapes, anything. Mm-hmm. It's too much. And the child and young people right now, they you know they follow also trends like we did also. We had trends at yeah, that time yeah, also sure. music and stuff you know. But now the trends are in a different way you know. But they still follow those trends. But they have too much of information to their heads. It's like Stephen said that before that uh, oh we didn't have that and it, it it now sounds for us that it's it was like uh, I I idyllic idyllic. Yeah. Ideally, yeah, that was wonderful, yeah, like a heaven, like yeah. paradise idyllic. at the moment. Idyllic, idyllic, mm-hmm. idyllic. yeah, yeah, idyllico. It's a Greek word. Yeah. Also. Right. But to your <laughs> but, but to your point about that, though, if I may, I got 
just as much information when I was a kid by reading the newspaper or watching the news as I do today. And I'm the first one to admit it. You know, once I get my day going, I, I'm on my whatever device to read the Financial Times and other papers around the world and the economy. I mean, I read everything. So when I start my day and I have to have dialogue with people throughout the day, I kind of have a good idea of what's going on. But I did that when I was a kid. The only difference today is I get my information quicker and I don't get it from Instagram or TikTok. I actually get it from a real newspaper or a real news source like a Bloomberg. So I think today the, the issue is between TikTok and Instagram, maybe Facebook, I think the kids are getting their information there. And I think a lot of it is wrong. And so to your point, they, they're not yeah. shaping themselves to be like, I don't want to say proper human beings, but I guess proper human beings. And a lot of it's because their parents now have grown up like that. So like, I'm very much read a book, read a paper. I don't care if it's online or, or print, but read. Don't, there's nothing you're going to get out of Instagram. And there's nothing you're going to get out of TikTok. Unless you're in China, because then they teach you how to be a doctor or a lawyer. Here, it's like you want to learn a dance step? Okay. So it's yeah. a lot different. And everybody strives now to be a Instagram star or a TikTok star. Okay. Or, or only fan star, actually. Right, right, right. So, you know, we're, we I got on our down. channel, I got just, rejection we letter. just have news for yeah. For only fans, yeah. For only fans, you got an yeah. rejection. They don't I want got you a, I got a, No. Okay. Sorry, Dave. Yeah, they, reje they, they rejected me. Yeah, there you go. That would that have been a page tough. I would have subscribed to. So. Yeah, well, that, 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 I put that down to tough love. And, you know, tough love. That is tough me. love. That is tough love, David, yeah. that you got rejected by only fans. Yeah. You can try again, I think. Try again, Dave. Yeah, yeah again. I, might have to I might have to change. I might have to change my name. You know. There you to, go. Yeah, but there you go. You yeah, I mean, going back to yeah. touch on this TikTok thing as well. I mean, it's yeah. amazing. There's a, a big, still a big hoo ha about it. Uh, the amount of of crap that has been pumped out of this towards a generation, a, a, a generation in the US, a generation in the, in the UK, and in in Europe, uh, that along with Snapchat. You know, it's yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't. It seems to be coming so thick and so fast towards these young people that it that it has seems almost as if their their brains have now become imprinted in. Oh, if it's thirty one seconds, it's not of any right. value, and uh, yeah, and they've just lacked the ability, I think, to 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 question anything. It's oh, I've seen it. Oh, yeah, I know that. I know that. I know that, right. and I, I find that I find that most disturbing, because it's sometimes very difficult to have a conversation with people, and they, they look at you as if to say, "Well, you're, you know, you're just an old fart, so you don't, you don't know diddly." No, I don't. I don't know diddly. I'm not saying that I ever did, but um, I probably be able to, you know, at least have a half a conversation with people, and it would seem that you know people up to up to a certain from a certain age upwards. That's still possible, but under that, it's not. Now, I'm sure my te my parents didn't know what I was talking about when I was a teenager. <laughs> you know, sure, have we had, we had our own language, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. But I'm, I'm I'm slightly disturbed by the amount of information that's that's been pumped out. Um, yeah, and this is this is one of the reasons that I'm talking about that this generation is messed up. I mean, too much. They have right. too much of everything in a way. When yeah. when you have too well, much, no, love, then it was him. yeah, your mind becomes twisted. Yeah. You know, you just you don't know what to do. Sometimes you just yeah stand still in, in awe. I mean, and then you go and find yourself, which I would like the next episode to be about. I then go and find yourself. Okay. What is you? And try to find yourself through this. Of course, well, it's a record record number of young people who have, have suffered from was it body dysfunction or whatever they call it. It's it's that there's, uh, there is a oh, that's not the correct statement, I'm sure. But they they have. They're continuously bombarded with the imagery of what they should look like, oh, and they okay. don't look. Yeah, like and that. and the should right. is is already a danger yeah. world, and, the world and because is, they and should. What does it mean should? Who says yeah, so? And, I mean, it, yeah, but that requires that you look past the instruction as to see who shouted the instruction at you, and that right. and that's that's we're in the generation of people who are who seem to. I mean, young people just in general. Thank goodness, a lot of them all. Uh, 
but we'll, we'll always have to have mouths open and because they're looking for information they're looking for knowledge they want to consume 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 but it's almost as if we're sort of um you know making these you know like 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 they, they fatten up the geese for for pate in france you know there's a there's a funnel in their mouths and they just this stuff's just been pumped in so um yeah, it's a different. Disturbing. It's just a different world because the body shaming and whatnot, and it's like who's to say what the perfect. If you're comfortable in your skin, whether you're a toothpick, or you're medium, or you're zoftic, or you're fat, if you're comfortable, then you're comfortable. And so I never was yeah. one of these people that's like, oh, you're too heavy, you're too this, you're not muscle. I don't care. I like me. I like the way I look. I like the way I. Do. I like me. I'm not. I to love myself. To anyone I love me. myself. I, I love myself an hour ago. This I mean, is the start. Anyway, um, so, if you don't yeah, love yourself, you, if you don't love yourself, can you love somebody else? No. This but the, the kids today don't understand how to love themselves because that's not yeah. This this is They're the talking. problem that they, they have as like well. This, that's the problem. Yeah, that is exactly problem. because there are too many traits. I have to I have to go now and, and do my real job, which is, is the national anthem naked and a cockfight. So I'm gonna go do that. I will see you both next week and okay. I will let you two continue to all our fans. Don't forget bye bye. podcast every live on YouTube every Monday, podcast and rebroadcast every Tuesday. Guys, have a great rest of the show. I'll see y'all later. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye bye. And then there were two. Yeah. And uh you know what else uh, love gives you? It one of the uh, it it comes with one of the need. Uh, uh, it gives you meaning. Yeah. It gives you meaning. I mean, uh, you have you have a reason to wake up. I mean, because you love somebody, something. You know, you love your work. Uh, you have a reason to wake up in the meaning in the, the uh, in the morning to, to go do your work that you love, or yeah. to see or be with a person that you love. I mean, or or with a dog that I have, yeah. you know, it's it's. Well, that's, that, that's what they say about you know about loneliness as well, and um, you know, find something to love, whether it be a cat or a plant or you know or something, something uh, you know outside of yourself where you can, yeah, release your emotions towards it. Because even if it's an inanimate object like a plant, if it grows in front of you. You know your garden grows or whatever in a strange sort of a way it's it's talking to you it's it's, exactly. it's rewarding you for the attention that you give it yeah there is a conversation there is um, um a, a, an interaction yeah and you get, it's obvious yes of course yeah. i don't believe on the other hand you know that uh, when somebody says that uh, wow i love maybe in its abstract form about love again uh, that is the force of the universe, and I don't know. A universe has its all, has love. Now the question is that, what is it the the opposite of love? Is it hate? I don't think so. Yeah, well, no. I mean, if if love is uh, all consuming, um, then it is something. Then non-love is non-consuming. It's an emptiness, a void. A void, yeah. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that the opposite of love is uh, not love. <laughs> yeah. It's the absent of love. Yeah. Just, yeah, yeah well, because hate again, is also back. a feeling. Yeah. It's also a feeling. It's not actually the... Uh, the and and the, you see that there, there are a lot of children which are dysfunctional, etc. Because, you know, when you are younger, when you are... Uh, um, very very small uh, you need the love and you need also the safety because the feeling of safety is associated with the feeling of love as well because yep. if somebody loves you it will give you safety also so that yep. parents do to the small children and if the children do not do not have enough of it because they we need we need we have a need to, to have a, a satisfactory amount of this safety and love if we don't have it, then we can become dysfunctional. So well, the absence of love, they, they have the I've absence of love. Several conversations through my life about love and people trying to, you know, to define them. And, and once I was at a, a, a whole group was sitting together and somebody said, well, you know what? Do you know what ultimate love is? It's like um, a voice calling you from the bottom of, this, of a darkened stair 
that just says jump and I'll catch you. Trust also. That means. Yeah. Well, is trust love or trust, is love trust? Yeah, part of it, of course. Well, then, then, then you know, then you can say, okay, but if if can somebody love uh, without trust for example i love her but i don't trust her well, it can happen also but yeah, then well, that, would, see, but that would probably be lust in play, in, in yeah play. you see yeah, I, 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 I lust her i lust her but i don't trust her <laughs> yeah yeah but someone someone can call it love i love her yeah I'm in love with her, you know. It's yeah. that's why the, the the world has so many extensions. I mean, and uh, we're just trying to to you know at least say this that uh, we have so many divisions of love. <laughs> there, are, but if there could be something because you know I was thinking about the the um, commonalities between all those. Is there are there commonalities because it's all really something different the romantic love or the lust that you have for a woman or a man that in includes also sex or like for a friend yeah but in any case you need both you need to to love both or to have both because we are uh, animals which uh, we work in, in with in companion with others we seek to group group uh, organism we are and uh, we need this meaning that love gives us and uh, it and it gives very quality meaning because it's 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 in a positive way because it it shrinks your ego that's that's it's it's dangerous if it be, because sometimes you know when you're really really crazy for a woman for example it can be dangerous for you. Yes. Yeah. And many, and yeah, many men or or women, of course. On the other hand, for yeah. for a man or for other women or for or men for other men, I'm talking about the romantic love. That, uh, but it was you know out of control. Yeah. And it becomes yeah. Well, that would, a lot dangerous. of women would a lot of women would define that by the fact that. Uh, that men only have a half a liter of blood and at a certain point of time it drains from their brains and goes somewhere else. And so therefore they do irrational things. So, uh, but uh, Adam, we're coming up to our, uh, to the end of the show today. Um, yes. We've covered a lot of stuff. You know, carry okay, on we'll next week, next the same time. topic? Or, or? We will see, we will see. But, uh, we will see. But next, one of the next is identity, which, okay, identity, we, yeah. might, we might, yeah, yeah. yeah, identity is an important thing. That would be interesting. Also. That would be interesting. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Because there are also many forms of, of identity, and we always. And maybe if anybody has anything to say about identity, or they give us one some ideas, they can put that uh, in the in the comments below. Um, if you like the show, subscribe, um, like button, and love the show. <laughs> love the show. Yeah, it's not. Um, it's some we love. try and show. We try and show art. Uh, every now and again on this on this show it's just there'll be a time for art there'll be a time for art. so whatever ha whatever happens i, I have my to, art um, in every word so <laughs> indeed but adam thank you so much for your time today and thank uh, you too see, see you again next week bye bye, bye, -bye. guys